Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. I am an academic, as I said. I'm also a wife and a cat mom and a soon-to-be mother to a baby girl. This is my new Passion Planner. Um, I'm not exactly sure which order I'm putting the videos up, but chances are the setup video for this will be up by the time this video airs. If not, it's coming. Um, and so what you'll notice is I went ahead and I stickered the cover with some adorable stickers, pregnancy sticker to indicate, you know, my current status. <clears throat> um, and some other like fun stickers that I've been collecting all year. I felt bad about covering up the design, but I would just love these stickers so much I could not use them. So in today's video, I'm going to be planning out the month of June 2022. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, um, as I mentioned in my setup video, these are temporary tabs. I have not put the new tabs on yet, so that's coming. Um, but here is the month of June. And I am so excited because I have a sticker kit that I've been hanging on to for months that I'm really excited to use for this spread. This is by Sugar Pop Fizz. And I love this sticker kit. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it has evil eyes. It has all these amazing colors. It's got this like, total retro vibe. It's got the rainbow for pride month. Like I was like, yes, <laughs> I want this kit so much. And I determined that it's best placement would be in the month spread. Um, because every time I set up a new week, I'll get to turn to it and see it again. It's just gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. And I'm going to do my best to like use as much of it as possible on this spread. So that is my goal um, for today. So yes, excited about that. I'm also going to be using a couple of mild liners because these colors go the best with those colors from the stickers. Um, this mild liner is the, uh, the rouge, I think. This is the, no, this is the rouge. This is the marigold and this is the smoke blue. So those are the ones I'm gonna use for that. And then for any writing I need to do, I'll use my Microline 05. Studio Series pen, which I adore because it doesn't smudge even when you go over it with markers. So I'm excited for today. Um, so the month of June. So this is my new planner. Um, it is dated, as you can see, so that step is taken out for me. Um, also, I have gone ahead and I've marked the weeks, the week numbers of my pregnancy. So this is like how many weeks pregnant I will be each of these weeks. Um, by the end, mostly by the end of that week. So Friday is like when my week turns over for the purposes of pregnancy. Um, I also have my like little things that I consult when I set up a month. So um, that's just to remind me what to look at. And I have some like stuff that I pre-planned as you can see. Um, and uh, also in the, in the break it down section, I have put anything related to pregnancy that I knew about like a year ahead of time. Like so there, there's going to be an ultrasound this, this month, for example. I get a scan every time we go, um, but there are special special appointments where you get like a full ultrasound by like an ultrasound tech. And you get, you know, to see, like you get pictures of the baby and everything. So that's why I'm marking it there. Also, this little sticky note is like has a lot of tiny writing on it because there's a ton of birthdays in this month in my family. So I have like this little sticky note to remind me whose birthday is on what day. Um, but I am going to put it on the actual day too when I get to set up. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So we're going to start by putting some date covers down. Let's see how this works. I'm not sure exactly if they'll fit, but we'll do our best. Yeah, that's actually not bad. It's not like gonna cover it entirely, but I mean, it covers the word entirely. It doesn't cover the little gray spots entirely, but that's okay. We don't need it to do that. We just need it to look pretty. Um, so for me, the month of June involves teaching my summer classes. They actually end in the month of June, so I will be done teaching for the rest of the calendar year. Um, this week is the last week of summer classes. And I'm excited about that. <laughs> Our summer classes just began, but it's not straight. Um, but I'm already excited about 
them ending. <laughs> it's not because I don't care about my students, like I still want to do good by them, but I'm just tired. It's a really long spring. Um, I'm also just tired because I'm growing a human inside me, so extra tired for that. I'm not sure how much of my fatigue is really like baby growing related and how much is like I am struggling so much just sleeping because I can't find a comfortable position. It is really hard because um, I was a stomach sleeper and now I cannot sleep on my stomach anymore. So I am struggling a little bit with that, but we do what we must, right? We do what we, we must do for our babies. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for month of June. As I said, there's a lot of birthdays that happen in this month. And interestingly, my husband's birthday, which is always on the 19th, happens to also be on Father's Day this year, which isn't always the case, of course. It's Father's Day is on a different day every year. Um, but we found that like highly amusing. <laughs> and so, because he's going to be a father this year. <laughs> Um, so we're excited about that. I do not know. I think I'm going to facilitate a new tattoo for him. That's going to be my birthday gift. Shh, don't tell him. He never watches this, these videos. So I think we're safe there. Um, but yeah, that's my plan so far because he loves tattoos. One of the things that I'm sure drew me to him when we were first dating because they make him look like kind of a badass, even though he's a big softy. And, um, so, um, he has decided that the next tattoo he wants to get is related to baby. And, you know, I did, I did ask him, like, are you sure before the baby comes you want to do this? And he's like, yes, regardless of the outcome, this is our baby. And I want to remember her this way. And I was like, oh. So <laughs> I'm kind of like a ball of emotions most of the time. So if I cry on these videos, just blame it on baby. Um, <clears throat> I do have an OB appointment on the 17th and also writing group is this day. I wonder if I should mix it up a little because I'm gonna run out of these little I'm gonna put maybe like one of these guys. Let's bring in a little blue. I feel like I'm in a, um, I feel like I'm that fairy in Sleeping Beauty. Blue, pink, blue. Um, what, am I, what did I just say, writing, my writing group? We haven't really voted on ever, we're, we're like doing this over the summer, but nobody said no. So I'm just like plowing ahead and being like, okay, then we're meeting. <laughs> we'll see who shows up. <clears throat> um, so a lot going on on the 19th. It's John's birthday. It's Father's Day. Go ahead and use this like blue. Um, it's also Juneteenth. If you don't know what that is, you should look it up. Um, I'm glad so many calendars are including it now. And then I'm going to put a little one here for John's birthday. Okay, and then, okay, so that's that. Ah, my friend may be visiting this weekend. And you know, until she confirm confirms, I might just Hang on to the sticky note, because if it moves, then I can easily move it. Um, also, I have another writing group meeting that day. So we'll go ahead and put our other little hand sticker. Oh, it's not circular. Huh, interesting. In that case, I will put a flower sticker for writing coven. Aren't these cute? I just love these stickers. Okay. And then, oh, that's right. 
Um, my mother has wrangled me into speaking at a conference on the 14th with her. So I'll go ahead and use this big box. It's called Women Spanning the Globe. And we're going to be speaking about the digital divide. So fun stuff. Um, and then I have my uh, visit to the hospital to do my level two ultrasound on the 23rd. And so I think I will do another big sticker for that. Yeah. 9.30. I'm trying to like cover it up, but also stay inside the, there we go. So I get actually two, two appointments about baby in the month of June, um, which might like stress some people out, but for me, I would rather have more appointments than fewer appointments, if that makes sense. Hmm. I kind of like jotted that in there before I knew what I was doing with this. Maybe I'll do a little. <clears throat> Let's see what I got here. Yeah, I'll do a little something like this. I'll put this one down first. And then this one layered. This is when my glasses end. But I need to grade, that's what I'm doing the rest of this week. Look how cute that is. Oh, I still have all these birthdays I need to put in. That is fine. I have stickers for that. This is my mother-in-law's birthday. Actually, I'd rather put on one of these. She likes pink. Um, doing this also reminds me of like which cards I need to get. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I find a card and I'm like, oh, that's perfect for so-and-so and I pick it up. But very often I start at the beginning of the month, I look and I'm like, oh, I need X number of cards. Let's just get them all at once in one, one trip. And or gifts or whatever uh, is appropriate for the occasion. Um, then I have my niece's birthday on the 24th. And my friend's birthday on the 27th. I actually have a really cute birthday gift in mind for her this year. Sometimes it just comes to me and this is one of those years. Sometimes I'm like, oh crap, I don't know what to get her. But this year I'm happy. And this is my other niece's birthday. So that's all the birthdays. Oh, so stinking cute. Okay, now I could probably put some decorative stuff. I may even sacrifice some of this like side column area to put more of these gorgeous stickers because why not? I mean, sometimes I do like filling these things out, but also, you know, I don't need to fill those out. It's not like the end of the world. And I do have these spaces to cover up. Should I do this side of it or this side? I feel like there's more going on on this side. Okay. Ooh. This 
watching it bring this down, I think. Ooh, sorry y'all. I did not think through the difficulty of this before I started. Okay, now I get out my little cutty cutty tool. perfect but good enough I am okay with that okay maybe we'll come back and use this little bit of sticker but for now I'm gonna put this pen away before I marker myself okay um let's talk about the graphic things and see what I want to do mm, I love them all so much okay definitely going to put the eyes in the corner I love um, that I'm seeing so many evil eyes everywhere. Um, I don't think everyone knows what those, that, like what they are, but it just, and I also know there's like some fetishization of, you know, Islamic culture going on when that happens. Um, but I just like, as someone who loves them and now is um, in a family that, is Middle Eastern. Um, I just really love seeing them and I love being able to like buy prints and jewelry and things with them on. Because before you could really only find them in like specialty stores and I want those like peace signs to be too close to each other. Maybe these flowers. Um, and they were only like in one color, you know, basically they were like gold and blue. Um, not that anything is wrong with gold and blue, but it just like gets boring after a while. So it's really nice to see like these other colors. These are so pretty. I want to use everything, but I cannot. It's okay. Well, the good news is I think I have enough here to actually like use in a weekly spread. So I might do that in my, I might matchy matchy my first week of June with my month. I think that'd be kind of cute. All right, we'll put this to the side for now. See if we need anything else, but I think this is looking good. And I will put this month's focus for work is glasses. Oh, I also have my R&R, &R. my revisions due. And then for personal, I'll put a thing on my way. Because there's a lot of family going on here, as you can see from all the birthdays. And Father's Day, always a big deal. I'm going to come in and just highlight these little boxes. They're pretty. Okay. Um, now, I do have some priority projects for this month. I'm not like fully going into my like my new roadmap goals until the end of until summer classes end. So um, I do have some things I need to do that are not necessarily related to that. I do have my revisions due that I need to do for the academic writing. Um, I also need to get my acting gear for the edited collection. And then for teaching, I will have final grades. I will also have annual meetings. I think that's it. And then personal projects. Let's see what I'd like to tell. I think the main thing is the declutter. Um, so
these are all the main zones I know I need to declutter. And then um, up to a little baby prep. Like this stuff will be easy. Um, set up prenatal classes. Oh no, wait, what am I saying? Yeah, classes. Prenatal yoga. And a little bit of information my friends need for my baby shower. Not bad, okay? And I'm not sure I will get to all of it by the end of the month, but um, summer classes are a different like amount of time and energy. There's not as much else going on, like on top of all, you know, normally in a semester you're also like doing admin work and you're, you know, doing a bunch of other stuff, which you don't have to do in the summer. So I have more time in other words. Um, but as you can see, it's also a busy month. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I think that's just about it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for seeing the setup. I hope you love the spread as much as I do. It is just gorgeous. It is just giving me all the summer vibes, which I need right now. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you're not. I really do appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. I do have some more videos planned um, and I hope that you enjoy them. Take care and uh, happy June.